back to part two. So for context, Shion is getting along with Takano. Here's her the idea that Sonozaki might be behind the disappearances and everything. Like Satoshi, her crush. And of course, Shion is jealous of Keiichi. So on the day of watching Nagashi, she's like, hmm, what if I took Keiichi along to go to the shrine with Takano and Tomitake? I mean, it's not planned until the moment that they are there. Another thing, she starts hearing footsteps behind her and she thinks it's Satoshi. So she starts hanging out with this thing that's like an imaginary friend. Now remember, she, Keiichi, is also hearing footsteps. Remember, I mentioned that in Oni Kakushi? I forgot to mention Tatsuki Kuroshi, who was also hearing footsteps then too. And remember, I noted that Tomitake also heard noises. Now are you getting where I'm seeing? Tomitake and Shion were hearing a jumping in that shrine. Sometimes those footsteps are interpreted as Satoshi. Sometimes they're interpreted as Oyashiro. Footsteps following them. And Rena has also had this experience before. Of course, I didn't bring it up until now. I'm sorry, I only have three minutes, dude. So she decides, okay, we did that. Let me stay over at Mion's. She wakes up in the middle of the night and Mion's finding out something about Tomitake and Takano. She don't think she's in danger because of the idea that the Sonozakis are behind everything. So she has a electric thingy. Zap! Mion goes down and the grandma out for the count. She owns taking revenge and claiming that it's for Satoshi. But we all know it's for herself. Honestly, I feel bad for her because she's in a toxic family. Of course, it doesn't excuse any of her evil actions that she does. I still deeply sympathize with her in other points. Yes, it was she owned all along and not me owned. And she was the one who was jealous of the doll. Now it all makes sense. Oh, and here's the thing. The anime neglected to point out they were switched. One day when they were children, they were switched. Because they would always switch places to be happiness as Mion and sadness as Shion. Shion that we know is actually the real older Mion. The Mion we always know is the real younger Shion. Yeah, that's kind of complicated. It even drives Shion to not be well near at the end of the series. I mean, this arc. So, unsympathetically, takes out Rika and Sadako. Also, when Rika was scratching her throat out, she was like saying, uh, ew, or something. I don't know what that is. I wouldn't worry about it. She takes out Sadako. It's a turning point. Because Satoshi told her to take care of Sadako when he left. She has a breakdown. She tries to justify it as if she's a demon. The entire tone of the story changes. She is doing anything to try to rationalize Whatever she is doing, whatever's going on. Mion even tells her, May the Sonozaki's just bluff. Times. She's like, I'm just doing this for nothing? She's so jealous of Keiichi's relationship with Mion. Especially when she sees he wants to give the doll to Mion. At the end of the story, she's like, what was the point of everything that I did? Honestly, how it goes out, couldn't help but cry. If people don't think she's sympathetic. And 